all right so let's do an ls to take a look at our file again so this is going to be our input file the one we filtered so this is a uh, methicillin resistance of lococcus aureus data so we are going to assemble this data so that's what we are going to do next so we are going to use fly because this is a long read data when to read so we are going to assemble it so to assemble with fly we will say fly and then we are also going to indicate some extra information we need that for the assembly so we will say dash dash nano dash raw because this is a nanopore data and then we will specify the file we are using the filtered one and then we are also going to indicate something so we say dash gene to indicate the genome size so with staphylococcus aureus we we'll use the genome size 2.8 mb so i'll say 2.8 m we are following the tutorial on the galaxy page so on the galaxy tutorial page the genome size was 2.8 m mb so that is what we are also using all right so let's get back to the terminal and then we're also going to indicate the number of threads so dash t i'll say eight so number of threads you need to indicate it and so if you have a high npc or if you're using a linux server a cluster you can increase this number to 10 or 20 or whatever that will also make the process faster the genome assembly process is computational expensive so ideally you should have a high-end pc that can um, do the heavy lifting basically so for me i'm using my normal laptop that is why i'm specifying eight but if you have more more threads or more cores you can increase it that's fine all right let's also indicate something else you say dash o to specify the output directory so i will say assembly you can use any name of your choice that's it so that is what we are going to use so what's fly it also allows you to do polishing so if you want to do some polishing you can add a dash i and specify the number of rounds maybe one two or three one or two or three and that's up to you but for this tutorial we are going to use the default settings with respect to the polishing because i want to follow the instructions that has been given a glass to your page so here that's what they had they didn't indicate the um, polishing option here so i'll leave it maybe another time i'll include that all right so this is the final command to assemble our data so let's execute this command okay so the genome assembly process has started so we have to wait everything to get them for so it can take some time so just be patient and then depending on your computing power it also affect the time it takes to complete the genome assembly process so you should be patient and wait for everything to get done for you okay genome assembly has been done so this will help you get started this is a summary of the results so we have the main coverage here that has been given here so remember on the guys to wrap page we had something similar being given to us as the main coverage so that this has been reflected here